Welcome to the scientific world. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for more updates and thrilling short scenes. Imagine standing on a shore, tossing a message in a bottle into the vast ocean, not knowing who will find it or when. In 1977, humanity did something similar, not with water, but with the ocean of space. Our bottle was Voyager 1, a spacecraft no bigger than a small car, sent as our emissary to the cosmos. It carried the golden record, greetings in 55 languages, music, from Bach to Chuck Berry, and images of our world. The odds of it being found by extraterrestrials are tiny, but that wasn't the only point. Creating the record made us reflect on who we are as a species. Voyager 1's journey is a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. Built on Earth, it has traveled billions of miles, farther than any human-made object. It sent back breathtaking images of Jupiter's storms and Saturn's rings, postcards from the edge of our solar system. Now on November 15, 2025, Voyager 1 is in a place no probe has ever been, interstellar space. It has left the sun's embrace and entered the vast unknown between the stars. What it's found has challenged our understanding and rewritten textbooks. Voyager 1 still whispers secrets from the great beyond, its story far from over. The most exciting chapter, what lies in the interstellar ocean, is just beginning. Let's embark on this journey and see what our little bottle has discovered. The adventure continues. Voyager 1 wasn't launched on a whim, it was a response to a rare planetary alignment that happens once every 176 years. This alignment let us use gravity assists, slingshotting the spacecraft from planet to planet in a cosmic pinball game. Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2, were built for this grand tour. Packed with scientific instruments, Voyager 1 could see, hear, and feel the universe. Too far from the sun for solar panels, it's powered by a nuclear generator. Launched from Florida, it flew by Jupiter in 1979, revealing volcanic moons and the Great Red Spot in stunning detail. Then, it used Jupiter's gravity to speed towards Saturn, where it discovered new rings, moons, and Titan's thick, hazy atmosphere. The Titan flyby was so important it sent Voyager 1 out of the planetary plane, ending its grand tour, but setting it on a direct path to interstellar space. The planetary tour was over, but a new, even grander journey was just beginning. Voyager 1 was now headed for the stars, its mission to explore the unknown beyond our solar system. The real adventure was only starting. To understand Voyager 1's leap into interstellar space, you need to know about the heliosphere, the sun's protective bubble created by the solar wind. Inside, everything is dominated by the sun's influence. Outside lies the interstellar medium, material from ancient stars. The true edge of our solar system is the heliopause, where the solar wind meets the interstellar medium. For years, scientists debated where this boundary was. Voyager 1 was sent to find it, measuring the environment as it traveled farther from the sun. In 2012, the data changed dramatically. Solar particles dropped. Cosmic rays from interstellar space surged. It was like stepping from a quiet house into a bustling street. Voyager 1 had crossed the heliopause, the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. It officially left the solar system, a quiet triumph billions of miles from home. This moment redefined our place in the cosmos. Voyager 1 became our interstellar scout, venturing where no probe had gone before. The boundary wasn't just a line, it was a gateway to the galaxy. The data it sent back would change our understanding of the universe. Humanity had finally touched the stars, if only with a machine. The journey into the unknown had truly begun. After crossing into interstellar space, Voyager 1 made an astonishing discovery. It heard something. Its instruments detected vibrations in the denser interstellar plasma, especially after solar shockwaves arrived. When scientists converted these vibrations to sound, they heard a rising cosmic hum, the music of space itself. This hum confirmed the plasma was about 40 times denser than inside the heliosphere. It was undeniable proof. Voyager 1 was truly outside our solar bubble. The spacecraft wasn't just seeing the interstellar environment, it was hearing it. Each new solar event sent more notes for Voyager to record, mapping the density of space. The interstellar medium, it turned out, was full of waves and ripples. Voyager 1 became a tiny boat, bobbing on the cosmic sea, sending back the universe's song. A poetic, unexpected discovery, one that let us listen to the space between the stars. Inside the heliosphere, Voyager 1 was shielded from the galaxy's harshest radiation, 
galactic cosmic rays. As it neared the edge, its detectors saw a steady rise in these high-energy particles. In August 2012, the shield dropped, cosmic rays surged, and solar particles vanished. Voyager 1 was now exposed to the full force of the Milky Way. This was a clear marker of its entry into interstellar space. But there was a surprise. The magnetic field direction barely changed. Scientists expected a dramatic shift. But the field stayed aligned with the suns. This revealed the boundary was more complex than imagined. A tangled interconnected region. The interstellar magnetic field seemed to drape around our solar system. Voyager 1's data forced us to rethink our models of this cosmic frontier. The edge of our solar system was stranger than we ever thought. Beyond the dramatic hums, Voyager 1's plasma wave system picked up a faint persistent signal, a gentle whisper from the interstellar gas. Scientists didn't expect this constant background noise. Theories suggest it's caused by thermally excited plasma oscillations or low-frequency waves in the interstellar medium. This whisper lets us track plasma density continuously, not just during solar events. Voyager's data shows the interstellar medium is gradually getting denser as it travels farther. It may be approaching a denser interstellar cloud, a cosmic weather report from uncharted space. These subtle findings are just as important as the big discoveries. Voyager 1 is mapping the galaxy's fabric, one faint vibration at a time. Each whisper adds a piece to the puzzle of the universe. Why does Voyager 1 matter? Because it represents the best of us, our curiosity, our courage, our drive to explore. Its discoveries belong to everyone, expanding our perspective and reminding us of our place in the universe. Voyager 1 rewrote our textbooks, giving us our first direct look at the interstellar medium. Its data on plasma, cosmic rays, and magnetic fields is fundamental to understanding our galaxy. Built with 1970s technology, it survived for nearly 50 years, enduring the harshest conditions. It's a monument to human ingenuity and a lesson for future explorers. Long after it falls silent, Voyager 1 will drift through the Milky Way for millions of years, carrying its golden record, a story of Earth. It may never be found, but its journey is a symbol of hope and connection. Voyager 1 tells the universe that a species on a small blue planet dared to reach for the stars. Its legacy, a timeless reminder that we are explorers and the universe is our ocean. The adventure continues as long as we keep looking up.